protection. Jonathan Weiss here, how the Fleetwood DeVille works. It's a ported speaker. That means that the bass um, is augmented in this, this design by these ports, which are, they're vents really. Um, and uh, there's two of them and they exit from the bottom of the speaker, which is why if you're not using the stands, we provide this spacer so that you can put the speaker on a table, for example, uh, or another surface and the sound comes out of the ports. So these, these are a specific length for a reason. Why did we choose this length, Vitas? We're tuning the box to a certain frequency. It's actually a range of frequencies uh, to get the kind of bass response that we want. Modern music has a lot of low frequency energy, so we're aiming to get down to the lowest notes that you'll hear in hip hop or electronic music. And for this, you need pretty long and sizable ports. The lower the frequency, the more air you need to move. So we chose to use twin three inch ports and the length is tuned to the size of the box to give us a uh, center frequency of around 37 hertz. Uh, the low string on a bass guitar is 41 hertz. So we're going a bit lower than that, trying to give you a nice bass punch. And we designed this brace here so that it, this braces the interior of the speaker. It also captures these ports and they're long. They're, they're, they're made out of a heavy paper. Why are they, why are they terminating here in the middle, we tell us. So uh, a lot of the speakers are ported from the rear or from the front. Uh, however, since we needed to have a significant amount of air movement, uh, we needed a longer base port. We chose to port from the bottom, which is unusual, but it gave us that length. And we also ended up uh, with a length that is roughly in the center of the cabinet. And that's because there are standing mode resonances inside the cabinet. The center of the cabinet is a null point where those are the, the uh, at the, their lowest. Why don't we talk a little bit about um, how, how these ports work, right? Because this could just be a sealed box. True. If it was a sealed box, uh, it wouldn't go as low, right? You would never get to this low of frequency, especially with an eight inch woofer, you would need a much bigger woofer to get to the frequencies that this gets to. So we get more, more bass, lower bass with this porting design, but we're sending them out the bottom, which is really unusual. Most speakers have the, the port coming out the back of the speaker, and that's because they're trying to cheat and bounce the bass off the rear wall, or what's the story with that? Uh, yes, with smaller ported speakers, typically uh, designers choose rear porting so that they get some augmentation from the rear wall, assuming that the speaker is up against a wall. Uh, that's a way to get more, um, more bass, you know, out of a smaller design. Uh, the DeVille is a relatively compact design, but I wouldn't call it small per se, but we're going for a full range musical reproduction.